السلام عليكم ورحمة الله بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم والصلاة والسلام على سيدنا الأعلام أشرف الأنبياء والمرسلين وعلى آله وأصحابه وسلم um, Welcome brothers and sisters to the anatomy of uh, happiness Hafiz is a very famous poet once um, said that ever since happiness heard your name it has been running through the streets trying to find you and another quote that uh, still is unattributed to one is this one the trust the truest greatness lies in being kind and the truest wisdom is a happy mind and I thought those two um, quotes really summarize my own thoughts when it comes to happiness um, I'd like to move our listeners to the next slide if that's possible in 2009 there was an happiness uh, a happiness uh, survey um, as well as in 2010 um, and um, I would be um, surprised if you could guess which country was found uh, as the happiest of um, all countries in the world actually our happiest nation on the face of this earth um, and um, it was um, found that people from poorer parts of the world are actually the happier people take a look at this slide and see if you can find um, United Kingdom anywhere on this list um, number one 2009 country that was the happiest was Costa Rica and 2010 was even more amazing the most happy people on the face of this earth came from Bhutan that's 2010 um, England our own country um, is here somewhere number 74 um, it looks like the poorer country Dominican Republic Jamaica and uh, Vietnam and all these countries of poorer parts of the world um, even Egypt um, are amongst the top 20 of the most happy people on the face of this earth that really makes you and I wonder um, what is it that makes these people um, poorer people happier and that's a question that we all need to reflect on um, is it the material possession or is it um, anything else is it their lifestyle is it the food that they eat the terminology that we often associate with happiness let me just give you a list of them just so that we um, have a, a helping hand well, as soon as we think about happiness we think about joy we think about satisfaction contentment we think about cheerfulness gratification relaxation smile and um, peace love thrill pleasure bliss comfort fulfillment serenity those good things make you feel good and happy about yourself um, just for a minute before we move further forward ask yourself this question right now um, how am I feeling how are you feeling right now which of those words would actually describe your current feeling if you have a pen and a paper why don't you note down one word that defines your uh, particular state of being right now are you joyful are you cheerful smiling happy thrilled um, are you comfortable are you fulfilled um, I can see somebody has written satisfaction immediately um, satisfaction of course the e-circle moderator uh, for the fact that uh, the circle is started and going um, without any major uh, hiccup so far but what about you uh, many other people from various parts of the country who are watching this program joining us right now how do you feel get a piece of paper and write it down in fact if you want to put it on the chat on the, on, on the right hand side you can others can see your particular state of mind right now I'm feeling how am I feeling I'm feeling peaceful uh, pleased relaxed anxious somebody wrote um, uh, okay anxious about what I'm not going to ask you that question for an answer I want you to reflect about it why am I anxious um, contentment remember the person who's written anxious uh, your word doesn't actually appear on my list here and so you've obviously put it put up one from your own thoughts but that's how you're feeling and we need to recognize that um, let me then go to the next slide which is where the um, words that describe our um, unhappiness perhaps despair dissatisfied discontent grief unappreciated stressed um, anger pain suffering gloom happiness helplessness misery all of those things are an indication of um, the opposite to happiness so if you're feeling um, if you're feeling any of this and if your particular state of mind is 
not that um, contented, not that happy, write it down. Get a piece of paper and write it down and see how actually you feel. So we did two slides. I've just shown one is words that we associate with happiness. I would like you to write down how you're feeling. And I would like also you to write down on the other side, how do you feel when it comes to unhappiness? Um, let's go to the next slide and see what we make of it. Some famous people have said lots of things about um, happiness. And here are some quotes. Franklin Roosevelt said, happiness is not in the mere possession of money. It lies in the joy of achievement, in the thrill of creative effort. Gandhi once said, happiness is when you, when what you think, what you say, and what you do are all in harmony. I like that one particularly. Happiness is what you think, what you say, and what you do are in harmony. Very clearly an Islamic principle here. I want to define happiness for us for tonight. Happiness is an emotion. It is an involuntary response to satisfaction and joy, of course, without prejudice, fear, guilt, or punishment. It could be both rational, and can you believe happiness can also be irrational? Happiness is contentment. Happiness is inner peace. Happiness is harmony between inside and out. That's what I understand happiness to mean. How do you understand what happiness is for you? And remember, it's very subjective. It's never one definition that would fit all. Um, before we move further forward, I would like us to quickly reflect on some reality that we need to recognize and accept. First one, in all, all honesty, no matter what you try and do, there has to be a very strong reliance on what Allah has said. He is the giver of happiness. And he is giver of power, he is taker of power, he is giver of honor, etc. As, as Muslims, we believe that to be true. Uh, number two, in my misery, I should seek happiness. So even when we're upset, we should not forget that being happy is okay. Some people actually believe being happy is not allowed. Why should I be happy? So many people are suffering in the world. You have often hear such a statement, but that's a false statement, a statement of uh, grave um, error in my, in my view. We are asked to be uh, seeking for happiness uh, and understanding that even in misery we could look for happiness. I, in my happiness, I should be humble and grateful. So the other side, when I'm happy, and I'm on top of everything, I should not become arrogant. And too, um, to fool, to feel too much in, in um, or of myself, those are indications of a person's um, arrogance, not humility. There's a great story that I wrote, uh, I've got here, I've quoted you. Um, uh, uh, Mullah Nasruddin, you may have heard about him. When they said, oh, Sheikh, we, would have a, we have a question to ask. It's very important. Uh, and the answer we all seek. What is the secret of attaining happiness? Nasruddin thought for some time and then he responded, secret to happiness is good judgment. The student said, but how do we attain good judgment? And he answered, from experience. The student said, yes, of course, but how do we attain experience? He said, from bad judgment. That really is a very powerful story. Uh, from our ba bad judgments, we learn to experience secrets of gaining happiness. What was your last judgment that was actually bad? What and what have you learned from your previous bad judgment? It's a question that I need to ask. Somebody had just written on the side, being contented with Allah's decree, making the best of every situation. Yes, of course, that summarizes the whole presentation. You're absolutely right. But let's go through the human process. Understand where we stand individually. What have you learned? Just take 10 seconds of your time and get a pen and paper next to you and write down what is it that you learned from the last ba bad judgment you made. Um, <laughs> somebody has written on the side, never argue with your wife again. Yes, true. That's a bad judgment um, that you may have made and learned. Um, there's a nice story that I'll share with you. A man uh, and a woman were celebrating their 50th marriage anniversary. 50 years they've been married. A TV crew came to interview them and uh, well, the, the 
the presenter interviewer asked the husband, in your 50 years marriage, have you ever thought of um, divorcing your wife? And he said, no, never. I've always loved my wife, never thought of divorcing her. So the presenter then asked the wife, have you ever thought of divorcing your husband? And she said, uh, no, I've never thought of that. So the presenter was quite surprised, but she was happy after having interviewed them. He was about to leave when the wife called him back and said, uh, just before you leave, it is correct that I've never thought of divorcing him, but I've thought of killing him many, many times. Uh, so <laughs> you ever argue with your wife? And somebody else wrote that is uh, that it is relationship that matters and not uh, material things. Yes, absolutely right. I'm going to move on so that you get to think about the questions that I'm raising. So first point that I want to do, I'll take you through 10 points today. Anatomy of uh, happiness, as I call it. First one, happiness is all around us. By engaging in a delusive quest for happiness, we bring only suffering upon ourselves. In our frantic search for something to quench our thirst, we overlook the water all around us and drive ourselves into excess from our own lives. In other words, when we are looking for happiness, some of us go into this um, extraordinary mode, futile almost, looking for happiness elsewhere, and yet happiness lies right here with, with us. That's the first point I want to raise. Happiness is all around us. Um, another quote, happiness is as a butterfly, uh, is as a butterfly, which when pursued is always beyond our grasp. Uh, if you will sit down quietly, may a light on you. It's an amazing statement, isn't it? When you're pursuing it, it doesn't come, but when you are sitting quietly and not expecting it, it does come in your direction. So happiness is here. You don't have to go somewhere else to find it. It's within you. Second point I want to make is happiness is not material possession. Uh, of course, this is the statement of our beloved Prophet Muhammad sallam, who said, true enrichment does not come through possession of, of wealth or a lot of wealth. But true enrichment is uh, the enrichment of the soul, um, constantly repeated throughout the Quran about how we should enrich our soul, ourselves, our inner being. So happiness is here and now, and it's not in material. Many people have good cars, good houses, gated you know, fortresses in which they live, much bad balance. The question that needs to be asked, are they truly happy? And if richness was an indication of happiness, why is it that more poor people are happier or poorer nations of the earth um, in the United Nations happiness index always score the highest? Number three, happiness comes from within. So it's around us and it's within us. People spend a lifetime searching for happiness, looking for peace. They chase idle dreams. Addictions, religions in uh, some cases, even other, um, hoping to fill the emptiness that plagues them. The irony is the only place they ever needed to search was within. This is the beauty of Islam, and that is it enables you to look deep inside you. Your faith is inside. Prophet ﷺ said in a very powerful statement when companions were asking, O Prophet of God, where is piety? Uh, in other words, where is Inner contentment, piety is an innovation of my inner contentment and profit indicated to the heart. It's here, right inside you. If there is a disharmony between what is inside and what is outside, you will never find happiness. And that beautiful message of Islam is embedded, um, hopefully, in everyday life of our all, all of us. But more importantly, it's a reminder that happiness comes from within. Nobody else can make you happy. You have to make yourself happy. Nobody else can serve you happiness on a plate or a platter or give you, my wife can't make me happy, I can't make her happy, unless I choose to search happiness from within. And you know, it is true that if I'm happy inside myself, everyone around me will also be happy. My happiness has a direct mirror effect, knock on effect on everyone else around me. So happiness, you don't have to look very far for it. It's around you, it's within you, and it's not material. Happiness is a contented heart. In the Quran, we find Allah says, Those who believe and those whose hearts find their rest in the remembrance of Allah, or verily in the remembrance of Allah, do hearts find rest. And this is so important for us as believers. Uh, contentment of our heart cannot come from anything else. I was talking to somebody today who was crying in front of me. Her tears were rolling out of her eyes because she was upset.